right, here we have the first prototype of the motor dome rotator. I, um, when I run it, I'll have to hold my hand on here to keep it level because at the moment it's just sitting on the rim. So here we go, connecting the positive battery for the motor, switching on the power to the electronics. Then the idea is that this sensor, when it touches or gets in the way of the dome, it will be obscured. And there we are. I'm not pushing that round, I'm just holding it. And it's pressing against the dome. So again, that's not very efficient. It's pressing against the dome here. And when I get it rigged up, I'll have it attached to something back there. So. It did help cleaning the track and getting WD-40 onto all the pulleys and wheels. I've only got the non-slip tape up to that point, so we can have another, another go. And there we go, switching off. Now at the moment, I haven't got any reverse, so what I have to do to reverse it is to get the idler wheel released. And I think what I'll need to do is have this on a system of quick release somehow. Now I don't want to push this too hard because the non-slip tape is very rough and it will wear away the rubber wheel quite quickly. So that's the rubber wheel that runs on the outside of this rim. So I'm moving back over for another test run to here. It sits in that position so let's just screw it back on. Right. Where am I? Here's the sensor. Switching on the power again. Okay. That's not enough to trigger it, but if we do obscure it definitely, and there it touches against the dome. So you can see that, that's quite a good demonstration that we advance the dome a bit so it goes from there to there before it actually touches the dome. Sounds like it's struggling a bit, but. And obviously it'll work better when this is not rubbing against the, the rim there. Right, switching off power. End of first test. <laughs>